Okay, new product interlude. You don't know how many times I have tried to film an open IPC segment. Like, thank you so much to Runcam, thank you so much to Emacs. I've been messing around with the Wi-Fi link and the Emacs Wyvern, and I have, I have thoughts. One thing that I wanna say is like, if you're seeing this, this is my Open IPC rebuttal. I've seen several YouTubers, I'm not gonna name any names, who have come to conclusions based off of the alpha status of this. And I'm not gonna lie, it is 100% alpha. Like look at this, look at this janky setup that I have right here. I've got this monitor that I'm flying off of, running into this, it's called a Radsa. It's a single board computer with uh, the ground station radio that came with the run cam setup and like all of this because that screen is gonna give me 120 frames per second and I've had the best latency and the best performance with it. Now, I've been experimenting with antennas. I'm not making any promises out here. The cool thing about OpenIPC is it's open source and like you are in control. There are a ton of levers. If you guys are interested, I will get into all of the nitty gritty. You can get in and edit the MCS index, the forward error correction, your bit rate, your, your how often you send uh, iframes. Like it gets kind of nuts at how much you can configure. I didn't bring a router out here with me. I'm not ready to change any settings and tweak it. I'm gonna get what I get. And hopefully, like if you're seeing this, it's cause I got something that's usable. And um, I don't have it set for like the most penetration, but I've got it set for what I would call medium penetration. And I'm gonna see how it does in this spot with like all of these obstacles. Can I actually rip around with it? Now I am flying, where is my open IPC build? Right here, this guy. One thing of note, because I don't know when the next time I'm gonna get a video out is, that I had one of the pre-release Wi-Fi links where it was kind of two dangly boards that were like slapping together. That 100% was not gonna last, I know it. But I went and I liked the alpha version so much that I actually bought two more uh, Wi-Fi links from Runcam and they made some significant changes to the production models. Uh, number one, the SD card is now on the bottom. It's not in the middle of the stack. And number two, there's foam in between the two layers. So they're not just kind of flopping around all floppy style. It's still pretty alpha, I'm not gonna lie, but a lot of my concerns with the physical reliability of the system have kind of gone away. So with that being said, I am gonna fly this boy. There is no GoPro. This is only gonna be DVR footage and uh, hopefully I've got something to share with you guys. I'm kind of curious to see how it performs here. I've been flying um, walk snail with literally no antenna and just barely surviving. So I, I feel like it's gonna be hard to be worse than that, but we'll see. Let's, let's just send it and find out. All right, I'm rolling on that. The fan noise is gonna be real. I apologize, fellas. But we have... I feel like the real test is can it power loop? It can underpower a power loop, that's for damn sure. <laughs> Getting all the FPS. This thing, this bird's like CG is not right. It's not tuned for not having a GoPro. It's like a seven inch frame with five inch props and motors. Like the whole thing is janky. I was able to see that, uh, that string of lights, which uh, if you are noticed, if you've watched any of the other open IPC, reviews, you may be noticing my video is blockier than most. And uh, the reason for that is I've actually tweaked a lot of the numbers on this transmission. I'm running an MCS index of zero. I've lowered the bit rate. I'm still doing 120 frames per second, but I'm compressing it down to a three megabit stream in order to uh, get the most penetration, if you will. After I do a bit of rippy rips around here and get used to flying a screen again, uh, I will check it out and see, like, I'll be honest with you, it's already performing, uh, like, RF-wise better than my uh, walk snail with no antenna. 
like I'm able to go outside of this courtyard right in front of me. That's not fair for the walks now because it is definitely like a damaged uh, U.FL to SMA adapter on that one. Okay, that was some breakup. I can't push it all. The, I can't push it out of the center section all the way at the top. But I don't know what the DVR is going to look like. It's unfortunate that the DVR footage. A lot of times when you get breakup, um, it just freezes. So I'm not really able to show you guys what that breakup looks like. You see like block diagrams of the uh, major terrain moving around. So like I was able to avoid the trees through the breakup, but I definitely couldn't see like enough detail to be picking out lines or doing anything new. Well, saved it. The latency is good enough that I'm able to save it in here a whole lot. I don't know that this is like ready for me to be ripping around. This is like early days, but I am really happy that I, it, it's, I feel like this is going to go the way of uh, ELRS where a year from now, this is going to be your budget option because let's face it, you can get this VTX, uh, camera uh combo with even a receiver i think it's like 80 or 90 bucks like that is nuts all right can i make the power loop dive i feel like i gotta send it if i'm gonna try to do a little bit of freestyle at the spot i need to do at least one send it okay that's too high my <laughs> my whole balance of uh Thrust to weight, camera angle is all off. Oh God, okay, I gotta hit that gap. Come on. Nailed it. All right, wasn't a power loop, but I got the split S into it. It definitely is potato cam status. I will say that in the short time that I've been dealing with this system, a ton has changed. And I fully expect that like in the next month, everything is gonna be different again. Like I had to completely reflash my ground station because the way they're handling ground station got and DVR got much better in like the last couple of weeks. There are, uh, I know there's a pull request for Betaflight that's gonna let you control channels and everything through the OSD. Right now it's straight up like SSHN to a Linux machine on the network change some text files in order to change channel video and code rate uh and all of that but like the ease of use of um the ease of use is coming and i think that this in six months this is going to look like a very polished product that is a viable option and i'm i'm here for it i'm excited oh yeah low battery warning all right, come on, let's get that power loop. I got just enough juice to pull off the power loop. I feel like it's gotta get hit. Ah, bail. It's not said landing now yet. One more try. Oh. That'll do it. <laughs> I'm not the first to smack that. No, you're right. not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go recover that bird and uh, rip some more packs with my regular build. I just wanted to show you guys uh, Open IPC, let you know I'm messing with it, let you know that I'm actually quite impressed with it. Um, there are a lot of rough edges, but if you want to get in on like the ground floor and be tinkering, I would highly recommend like going all in. If you do, don't fly this system off of a phone. It's hot garbage off of a phone, in my opinion. It's like 60 plus milliseconds of latency. Uh, get yourself a Radsa or the Orange Pi 5 Plus and build a proper ground station. This uh, monitor, the whole thing was like $130 to get like a 2K, 120 uh, frame refresh monitor. And from my understanding, the Wyvern from Emacs can run straight up 2K video. You're not gonna have like crazy range and penetration when you're pushing that much data, but you can do it. And like, to me, that's the cool thing about this system. Like you could use it to broadcast uh, HD footage at like a live event and like be sharing straight up 2K. So like so many cool applications for it. I'm gonna keep messing with it. I hope you guys give it a shot. And, but for now, let's go freaking rip.
Yes, I actually got open IPC yeah, content. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, real talk, this thing, uh, I'm freaking SSH'd in to look at the files, to pull my DVR so that I make sure that I've got that segment. Like, it's just not, it's, it, it's an alpha product. But you feel like a hacker when you get it down. It's pretty sweet.